Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about an Android Trojan that blocks phone calls. Today, Symantec released a blog post talking about android.fakebank.b, which is just a new variant of an Android banking Trojan that has some new evolutions. First of all, there's been a number of Android banking Trojans spreading in the wild. These particular Trojans try to gain access to your Android device. They look for particular banking apps, and then they try to steal some data from those banking apps off obviously so the bad guys can get your credentials. Now according to Semantic, FakeBank.B is a new variant that has some interesting new functionality. You know, a lot of backdoors and Trojans or other malware, when it gets onto your computer or your mobile devices, it tries to stop security software. It does things like trying to kill AV processes. It might block certain domains so that your AV software can't actually reach its updates, or so you as a user can actually go check some of these security sites to see whether or not you're infected. Now since fake bank B is infecting a mobile device, they also have access to actually block phone calls. So this particular banking Trojan also blocks you from calling the number of many of the popular banks that it's actually targeting. That way if you're a victim, you may not be able to call support to see what's going on. Now the good news, at least for some viewers, is this particular Android Trojan seems to only be spreading in Russia and South Korea right now. That doesn't mean it won't actually spread in other geographies later, but right now it seems to be pretty specific to those locations. Nonetheless, if you're an Android user, there's a number of things you should do just to avoid getting this type of malware on your system. First of all, keep your mobile device updated with the latest version of the OS. Second of all, only download applications from sanctioned sources. I highly recommend you avoid sideloading applications from strange third-party sites. And third, you might consider some sort of security software. There's a number of different uh, Android security programs out there that could help you keep malware off your system. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Have a great weekend and thank you for watching.